Okay, now I am going to teach you how to make a prepared speech. Okay, giving a prepared speech. We saw giving an extempore speech. Now giving a prepared speech. In this, you are asked to come and give an inaugural address. Okay, that is you have to give an address, uh, the gathering, you have you've been called for a seminar. So, you are uh, asked to give an inaugural address and let us see the points that you should remember. First point of preamble. which means formal salutations and greetings. Formal salutations and greetings. What do you mean by salutation? Salutation means is of course greeting like uh, um, respected so and so, uh, my dear parents or respected judges or whatever you are, uh, whoever is gathered there, greeting them is called the salutation. Okay? So, for example, I can just give you good morning. Um, Good morning uh, everybody or good evening. To all assembled here. Or respected Chairperson, and other dignitaries. Okay, all these are salutations. Okay. Good morning or good evening to all assembled here or respected chairperson and other dignitaries. All this are, uh, this comes under preamble. Next one is importance of the importance of the topic. For example, you just uh, come uh, to work, you, you are uh, coming to give a speech on or an inaugural speech on the need for computer literacy. That is everybody should learn how to operate a computer, you are going to speak on that. So when you come there, you go and speak about uh, biodiversity and biology and something, it will not make sense at all. So you have to speak something on uh, pertaining or uh, prevalent to the topic. Okay. So, nothing can be achieved, you should start like, nothing can be achieved without computers in this world, uh, in this world of technology. So, I would like to uh, emphasize the need of computers or something like that you should uh, speak on. Okay. So, importance of the topic um, pertaining, speak. only pertaining to the topic. To the topic 
you are going to speak on. Okay, do not go anywhere out of the topic. Uh, for example, I told you the need for uh, computer literacy means speak only about the importance of computer. Then comes the third point. Then the inauguration. Now you have to inaugurate some program. Maybe you have come to inaugurate a cultural event, you have come to inaugurate a meeting, a seminar, anything. Now you, ju you just have to say, I declare open, like even a sports meet, a parents day program. I declare open the conference or seminar or workshop or science meet. Okay, so these are the main points for you to give a prepared speech and that to um, inaugurating, uh, I'll write here. The first example, inaugural speech. If you are asked to give a prepared inaugural speech, these are the things you have to bear in mind. Formal salutations and greetings like good morning, um, good morning or good evening to all assembled here or respected chair, chairperson and other dignitaries. So you have to start like this. Next point, importance of the topic. You should not waver from the topic that you have chosen. For example, the importance of uh, computer literacy if you are going to talk on. You have to speak only on computers, do not speak on something else, okay. Uh, now next one is you after giving your speech you are inaugurating the function or conference or seminar or workshop or science meet. So you just say I declare open the conference uh, on 2015 or 16 or 17 or I declare the conference open. So you have to declare it in a loud and bold voice, okay. So do you understand now how to give an inaugural speech? So these are the many, many ways of uh, giving uh, speeches and one is this inaugural speech. I will quickly recapitulate preamble, formal, uh, formal salut salutations and greetings. For example, good morning, good evening to all assembled here, respected chairperson and other dignitaries and so on. The next is importance of the uh, topic, speak only pertaining to the topic you are going to speak on. And the third point is your uh, most important task, inaugurating, I declare open the conference so and so or I declare the seminar uh, on this topic open, okay, or I declare the workshop on uh, uh, teachers uh, training or something open. So something like that you have to um, say whatever you have come there for and declare it open, okay, in a bold confident voice. Is that clear? Now you have learned, see you, you may become great engineers, doctors, managers and officers. So you should learn all this. This is also part of English conversation.